Hello, my name is Joshua Weber. I am technical support with Carlson Machine Control, and I'm going to talk about in a series of videos some of the main features of the Fleet Manager Office uh, program, which is the office side of uh, the Carlson Connected job site. I'm going to go over um, the basic layout of the program and then some of the uh, individual things you can do with it. Um, as you can see, I have the Fleet Manager Office program open. You can see in the middle of the screen we have uh, a plan view, a, a DWG file loaded as the uh, mine site here. Uh, you can see the individual machines, um, where they are uh, on the site. Um, on the left hand side you can see a site information pane that uh, gives information such as northing, easting, um, at the existing elevation and the design elevation. You can see that my mouse uh, went over one of the machines and when when we panned over a machine you can see which uh, vehicle it is, uh, what type of uh, site it's on, what fleet it's in, uh, and, and the other general information about that machine. Um, I'll switch over to a landfill view just to show uh, something a little different. Uh, here we've got a cut fill color map in the plan view and this uh, cut fill color map you can see as I go over it in that side information panel uh, in the upper left that you're getting a cut fill um, to the design you see the existing elevation and the design elevation as I as I run my mouse over it um, and then that cut the cut fill the green uh, shows on grade with intolerance the blue is a fill and then the red is an overfill and those tolerances are all um, configurable. Swap back over to the mine site here and you can see on in the Fleet Explorer right under the site information um, we're showing a landfill uh, site and some compactors running on it in a compactor fleet. Uh, I've also got a mine site set up uh, for this demonstration and we've got uh, do a dozer fleet, a drill fleet, and a haul truck fleet. And the fleets can all be separated out to send different uh, activities, down codes, uh, and operators to uh, individual fleets. Um, out next to each rover over here, you can see that we have um, an icon. Uh, the green icon indicates that we are getting heartbeats in from these machines. Uh, the red uh, means that we have not uh, seen it uh, in, in the heartbeat server for a while. Um, things like the clock here indicate that the uh, time on the rover does not match the time on the server which is important for logging so that's uh, information that it can give you. Um, and additionally if a machine is in a down situation um, it, can, it can show a gear. Uh, we can go into that can say maybe uh, Dozer 174 down here uh, has, has gone into a down situation. I'm going to go uh, right click on him and when you right click on any uh, of the machines either in the fleet status at the bottom in the uh, plan view or in the uh, fleet explorer you get a right click menu where you can see the properties of the machine. Uh, you can uh, do some menu specific things like in the fleet explorer you can set the visibility uh, you can always show the alerts, uh, any any alert situation uh, for the machine. Uh, you can center around the rover in this plan view, and you can view the rover screen. So that's what I'm going to do here. Uh, and it's just going to bring up a VNC window into this machine. And uh, you can see he's got a task button here. So we're going to go to the down codes, and we've got a couple of uh, down codes for this machine. We've got a maintenance and a shift change. Um, additionally, if you have many, you can just enter a code um, and bring it right up. But we'll put him into a down situation, and you can see that he's uh, he's uh, 
being forced to either shut down the machine, clear the code, or exit. And you can see over here in Fleet Manager Office that he's gone into a down situation. So we're just going to go exit um, in this case so that we can go over here to the fleet status where we get a lot of information um, from the individual machines. And we're going to find uh, 174 here in the fleet status. And you can see he's down, down right here. That's a general overview of what you're seeing um, in the main screen of the Fleet Manager Office program. In later videos, we'll go into more detail on some of the features and some of the benefits of the program.